Hey guys, Matt here, uh, coming at you with another What's Sold on eBay video. Um, and as always, I like to start the videos with uh, showing you guys a few of the pickups that I got uh, over the weekend and throughout the week. Um, hopefully you guys had a good uh, sourcing weekend. It was pretty uh, it was pretty rainy and, and nasty here in Cincinnati, but I still had a pretty good a pretty good time picking up stuff. Uh, we ended up with a whole carload of full stuff on Saturday, so still was able to get some good stuff, even though it was pretty rainy on Saturday. But I'm going to start this video with kind of an update. Um, if you watched my last video um, or you didn't, the title of that video was The Highs and the Lows of Reselling. And the low point of that video was I had my very first return for a broken item. Uh, it was a Sony DVD VCR combo. And the, the buyer left a note on the return saying that the front plate was completely broken when they opened the box and, and pulled it out. Completely broken. So I'm automatically thinking, oh man, this thing is going to be smashed. You know, what am I going to get back? I was, you know, pretty worried about it. And I was already trying to figure out some silver lining. Well, I can sell the remote. It had a remote with it. I can sell the remote and make this amount. Maybe I could sell this thing if it's broken and make some money off of it. Obviously a lot less. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I got back. So I got that, that DVD VCR combo back. And when I opened it, I was very relieved because when I opened it, it actually wasn't completely broken like I thought it was going to be. So as you can see here, this is the front plate they were talking about. And this front plate flips up and down. As you can see, it's got some, some other buttons and connections there. Uh, but this uh, flips up and down. And when I pulled this out of the box, this uh, this thing sits on like four hinges. I don't know if you can see one there in the middle, but it's hooked onto four hinges. And this is made to be removed. So you can clean it, or if it does get broken, you can change it, get a different one. But two of the hinges had basically like the, the little hook part had come unsnapped from the hinge. And all you had to do was snap it back on. And then when you snapped it back on, it would, you know, obviously it flips up and down very easily. So luckily, the completely broken thing was actually not completely broken. So I was very relieved that it actually wasn't broken. And I can, I retested it, reposted it um, for $150. So I'm able to resell it again. But I was worried because I'm, I'm a new seller. I didn't know if I was going to get like a mark on my account, you know saying that I had an item come back broken. So I called eBay just to kind of let them know, hey, they said this was completely broken. It wasn't broken. I'm, you know, I'm so sure that it wasn't broken that I've already relisted it, tested it and relisted it. Um, so I called and uh, told them my story and they told me, oh, you won't have a, a mark on your account. You, I went ahead and refunded the money even though it wasn't broken. I didn't send a message or anything to the person saying, hey, this wasn't broken. I just refunded the money, just wanted to be done with it, you know, let them, you know, maybe they had buyer's remorse, I don't know, just let them, you know, go about their business, I'll do my thing. So eBay said, you know, I can, we, we can see where you had good communication with the, with the buyer and you immediately refunded the money. <clears throat> so, you know, we'll go ahead and um, refund you the money that it cost you to have it shipped back to you, which was about $17. And I, you know, I didn't ask that, I didn't even know that was something. And the guy just went ahead and did it for me. So I've, you know, some people, you know, knock on wood, some people say they get bad customer service from eBay, but I've never had any issues. I know sometimes the wait can be pretty long, but usually I'll, I'll save my questions unless, you know, unless it's something that needs immediate attention. I'll save my questions till later in the day. And, you know, I usually don't have to wait on call at all, you know, at all on hold. Um, if, if I do for just a few minutes. So uh, they really helped me out there. Uh, in the customer service department so i was pretty happy with that so just wanted to give you guys an update on what happened with the the lowest of the lows of the reselling for me so far uh it, we're back to normal the, the roller coaster is going we're, we're, we're still going so i was pretty happy with that but now here's a few of the things that i picked up uh over the weekend and within the last week since i saw you guys last um i guess we'll start here these are some sony feather lights uh headphones are still sealed uh, picked these up at St. Vincent de Paul for $4. Um, didn't even look them up, but just saw them sitting on the on the shelf, 4 bucks, whatever. They're Sony headphones that are still, you know, sealed feather lights. So I picked those up. I have those listed. They sell for about $90 to $100. I couldn't believe it. But I was I picked these up. I was like, oh, if, you know, if anything, I'll pair these with some sort of Sony CD player, you know, whatever I might get that's Sony and put a nice pair of headphones with it and make it look nicer. But to my surprise, like I said, ninety to hundred dollars. I think I have these listed for like a hundred bucks or something. So, pretty nice with that. 
All right, over the weekend also, me and my wife ended up at a church rummage sale, which I love church rummage sales. I could never find many of them. I've only been to two. This was only the second one I'd been to. And I didn't know about this one, but an old lady stopped me where we were at another yard sale. And she said, oh, just so you know, such and such church down the street is having a rummage sale going on right now. You should go check it out. I'm like, okay, sure. I love rummage sales. So we went went to the rummage sale. It was pouring down rain, like I said, on Saturday. Um, in the tent, they had like a kid's tent. And in there, they had like a bunch of video games. And this was thrown in with the video games. I couldn't believe I actually found this. This is a Game & Watch Donkey Kong multi-screen. This is from 1982. This is like one of the original handhelds. Um, this thing is pretty rare to find, and it's really nice. The front is a little scratched up, but the inside, the screens and stuff, are really nice. I mean, it's so clean inside there. I couldn't believe I found this. Um, what caught my eye was, there was a bunch of video games that looked like someone had already picked through. It was like a bunch of sports titles left. But this little orange part was sticking out, and it was kind of just like tucked down between some boxes. And that is what caught my eye. This was 50 cents. Picked this up for 50 cents. And I'll test it out. I'll get a couple of batteries for it, test it out. But if it works good and sounds good, this will sell anywhere between 70 and 80 bucks. So this is pretty rare. This is a pretty rare handheld. And I couldn't believe my wife was like, why are you getting so excited? I was like, you don't understand how rare this thing is. So picked that up at the rummage sale. Uh, the other thing I picked up at the rummage sale, this was one that my wife found. And this is pretty nice. This is a... Pi Mag Waterfall Gravity Water System. It's like a water purifying system. I never actually heard of this before, but my wife looked it up. We paid eight bucks for this, and this is, it's it's opened, but I don't think it's ever been used. There's actually an extra filter in here that has never been opened. It's still sealed, but this will sell for about two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars, even in pre-owned condition. The filter inside itself, the sealed filter, is like fifty or sixty bucks. So we paid eight bucks for this at the rummage sale. And like I said, two hundred to two hundred fifty dollar listing. I still have to get this listed. It's in my death pile. But yeah, gotta get that listed. And something I picked up today um, from St. Vincent de Paul was this Learn and Master guitar um, set. It's like a learning system, and it I it looked cool. And it, you know, when I saw it, I thought you know usually you see cases like this, and then they have like cassettes in them or something. But to my surprise, when I opened this up. It was actually like a, it's like a DVD and a CD learning system. So it's got 20 C, uh, DVDs here that you watch that have different lessons on them. And then once you learn the lessons, then you jam along with the, the jam along CDs. There's five of those and put those lessons to uh, good use. And then there's like a little book in the back, like a lesson book too, that comes with it. And a, like a little step-by-step -step guide of like, you know, what you do and what order and stuff. Uh, to learn this so this is a, a really nice pickup i paid five bucks for this if you can see that there five bucks for this at st vincent de paul and this will sell anywhere between 100 and 120 dollars so i was really really happy to find this um you know i've yeah like a few of these have sold for 120 pretty recently but they go anywhere from 100 to 120 dollars so pretty excited about that one just got that today so i'll be listing that all right and then the other uh thing i picked up over the weekend as you can see here is a zero Halliburton case. Uh, this was a Saturday garage sale. Um, guy had it there. This was a weird. I don't know how this stuff sits around, but this guy had this. It was a Friday and Saturday sale. This was Saturday in the afternoon. He had it sit on the table. He had a $25 price tag on this. This is a really nice, it's like a zero Halliburton briefcase. And you can see here it, it holds like a laptop. The guy said he used it for his laptop. But it's got some scratches it's got some wear on the outside as you can see there but the inside i think is what's going to sell this because it's really really clean inside but the guy said oh i used to put my laptop in it and carry it around but this is i paid 15 bucks for this and we have it listed for 299.95 so pretty happy about that and you know i don't didn't know anything about zero halliburton i never even heard of that name before i started watching youtube videos videos just like this one what's sold on ebay and especially garage flips he sells a lot of these zero halliburton cases so I was like, you know, I'll give it a shot for 15 bucks. You know, what's the worst that can happen? And to my surprise, 299.95 is what we have it listed at. And it should sell around there. I mean, if it doesn't, we'll, we'll slowly lower the price until it does sell, but it's you know still gonna be a really nice sale. So super clean inside, I liked it. Now, on to what actually sold on eBay. This is from September 3rd until today, September 10th. So in the last week, uh, what we've sold, uh, we had a pretty decent sell uh, week, I would say in sales. Um, so here we go without further ado. This is Diddy Kong Racing for the DS 
picked this up for uh, at a yard sale, maybe got a buck into this, and we sold it for thirteen ninety five plus shipping. All right, another yard sale find last week. Um, picked this up for six bucks. It's a Sony micro cassette recorder that a student might use for like you know lectures and stuff. As you can see it has a little extra uh, tape there. So came with the tape, came with the instructions. Sold it for thirty nine ninety five. Or thirty nine ninety nine, which is a weird number. I usually do ninety five, but thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping, paid six bucks for it. All right, baseball glove. Uh, picked this up for a buck at a yard sale. Um, it was in nice condition. That's why I, I, I just caught my eye because it was just really nice. It looked like it had only been used a few times, so it still needed to be broken. But this is a softball, like a fast pitch softball glove, and I sold this for nineteen ninety nine, nineteen ninety five plus shipping. So paid a buck for that. Uh, another dollar uh, remote that I picked up from St. Vincent de Paul. Sold it for six fifty. This is just a Sony remote for a stereo. Pretty easy. I like that. Pretty easy. Three pictures. Sell quickly. Had this maybe a week, maybe. Um, so sell pretty quickly. I like this. All right, here's a nice one. This is uh, one of the Monopoly games I picked up uh, a couple weeks back. I picked up a whole stack of Monopoly games. I think there was five in there. They were sealed. They were two bucks a piece. Picked them up from St. Vincent de Paul. And most of them I've sold. I think I only have one left. And this one sold. This was one of the more high-priced ones. We sold this for $24.95 uh, plus shipping. But look at that. Just two pictures. Boom, boom. Done. Easy. Two bucks for that. All right. This is a Wii Motion uh, Plus controller. This has the. This is a Wii remote that actually has the Motion Plus inside. So this is like a newer model Wii remote. Picked this up from Salvation Army. I don't buy a whole lot from Salvation Army. Uh, there's just usually not a whole lot there to, to buy. But to my surprise, when I walked in, there was a box of Wii stuff. It had a Wii console. It had four controllers and the cords. And it was 25 bucks. So I can sell. I'll take. That's something I'll buy all day long. Because I'll take the system and sell that for 25 or 30 which you'll see later up coming, coming down the line here. You'll see where I sell the system. But I'll sell the, the system for the 25 bucks, get that money back, and then all the profit comes from the controllers. Like I said, it has four controllers. Uh, this one sold for $17.95 plus shipping. So I guess you could say I, this controller was free. You know, if I paid $25, i am going to sell the console for $25. The rest of it is just the profit on top. So $17.95 plus shipping. And this came with, uh, like I said, the Wii Motion Plus inside controller, a nunchuck, and a sleeve. So, And I'll pick up these little jelly sleeves. I sell a lot of Wii controllers, and I often find just those little, like, uh, jelly sleeves that go over top of the controller for, like, a quarter, ten cents. And I'll buy those all the time because I'll just pair them with all these controllers that I find and, and make them look nice. All right, a good garage sale find last weekend. Um, again, Saturday afternoon. Um, this was sitting in the driveway. This is a brand new sealed uh, photo printer. And they had $20 on it. I asked them if they would take 10 She said, oh, that's you know brand new. We never used it. How about 15 And I said, yeah, sure, no problem. It's a no-brainer. Here, this is, uh, you know, like I said, Brand new, never been opened. Uh, and so it's 15 bucks, and we sold it for 159 95 So that was a really good sale. All right, here's that, that console I was telling you guys about. So again, from the Salvation Army store, sold this for $24.95 plus shipping. Uh, so we made the 25 bucks back. We spent on the box of Wii stuff. And then, like I said, the controllers and stuff will all be uh, the profit. But I like selling these Wii consoles. They're not super hard to sell you just test them out but what i like about what i always look for is see these little flaps i flip flip the little flaps up those are normally broke off gone missing from a lot of wii consoles i find and i usually leave those behind you can find you can still sell ones that have that don't have the flaps on top but i just i just like you know that it's complete and it's in good condition um, i think it's a selling point that these flaps are still on there um so I'll pick those up. You know, if, if I can get a console and a bunch of controllers and stuff for 10 or 20 bucks, 25 bucks, I'll usually do, do it. It's, you know, not super exciting to sell, but they do sell pretty often. I've sold, I think, two Wii consoles now and a bunch of remotes and cords and games and stuff. So, all right, this is a nice sale. Not a whole lot of profit here, but I picked these up from uh, Elder Beerman's closing sales. Elder Beerman is like a department store here in Ohio. And they recently closed, and they had, of course, their closing, big closing clearance sales. I think I got these for 90% off. It was like 60 cents a box or something. It's just a, a Seiko watch box. Comes with a little pillow, a bunch of paperwork and stuff. So if you have a Seiko watch, have a nice little box to put it in. But paid 60 cents, and I sold this for $5.95 plus shipping. And I have four of these, so I've sold one. I have 
uh, three more available, and I picked up a bunch of other watch boxes, which you guys will see a, a couple other ones sold down the line, more expensive watch boxes. This was uh, one of the cheaper ones that I picked up, but still, sixty cents into six bucks is still, you know, that's still fine, and you know, pretty easy, easy to list, easy to ship. Uh, so nice, not bad. All right, this is a funny story. This is a Monopoly, a handheld game. Um, picked this up for two fifty at St. Vincent de Paul. Sold it for forty two ninety five plus shipping. But the funny story about this: this is brand new. This is from nineteen ninety nine, still sealed, uh, which it's really nice. But uh, some of the hurdles of being a new seller on eBay is I started my account brand new, so there was a lot of you know restrictions and stuff. And also I started a new PayPal to link with uh, with my eBay account. So there's some hurdles there. And one of the hurdles this week for me was out of the blue. After been, I've been selling for two months, PayPal decided to put a hold on my account because I'm a new seller and there was some activity. You know, I, I sell a lot of stuff. So they just wanted to talk to me, I guess, because I'm a new seller and kind of figure out, you know, what's going on, I guess. So I had to call them and uh, talk to a guy who was super nice. And he was just asking me like, oh, where do you get your stuff? And But he saw this sale for Monopoly. And he goes, you got $50 for a Monopoly game? <laughs> I started laughing. I said, yeah, man, that's a really nice one. It's from 1999. It's like a collector's item. A Monopoly collector would want this thing. Still sealed. He goes, huh. All right, cool. <laughs> and then it was like from there, it was just like, all right, man, we're going to we're gonna give you your PayPal account back. It was like on hold and I couldn't like pay for like shipping and stuff. It was weird. But he was like, oh, we just do this because you're a new seller and you know we just hadn't got around to you yet or something. I don't know. That's the story he gave me, but at the end of the day, we, we got our PayPal account back, but he was just dumbfounded that I actually got 50 bucks for this thing, and I was like, yeah, man, all day long. All right, so, so some Sony floppy disks, uh, not much to say about these, just Sony floppy disks, bought these for two bucks, had these for about a month, and we sold them for sixteen ninety five plus shipping, so not bad. All right, another Wii remote, I got this actually from uh, a yard sale, and I remember this one because... I, the Sun had priced all the games, and they were all super high priced, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, whatever. And I didn't buy any of the games. There was a couple I would have bought if they were actually decent prices. But he also had a box of just Wii accessories, and he had these thrown in the box for a buck a piece. So I got this for a buck, and we sold this for seven ninety five. Now this is just a regular Wii remote, like an older version. It doesn't have the Motion Plus built inside, so it's like the, one of the original. But it did have this nice Mario sticker skin thing on there, so. Put that in a title that I had a Mario skin. Sold for seven ninety five. Picked this up for a buck. So, and it's just the the remote and the little jelly cover. It doesn't have a, a nunchuck with it. So, all right. This is another one of those boxes. Um, this is a, a, Marnie, a Armani Exchange watch box, uh, like a gift watch box that I picked up from Elder Beerman's again. And I paid a, I think a dollar twenty for each one of these. And I think I bought eleven. Yeah, I have eleven of these and two sold. You'll see another one coming up here. But dollar twenty into these, and it's sixteen ninety five. I like this because you know you take one, what's one listing, you put that you have eleven, and then you just let them roll. You know, it took. It's really weird because I had these posted for about twenty days or twenty five days, and with no action, and then like in two days, like back to back days, I sold one, and then I sold another one the next day. So it's just weird how it works that way, where you don't sell anything for twenty days, and then all of a sudden you sell two. But so we have nine more of these. And like I said, dollar twenty, and we sold it for sixteen ninety five plus shipping, so pretty good. All right, this is a Jeep Dodge Chrysler AM FM uh, radio, CD radio, and I picked this up at St. Vincent de Paul for five bucks, and I sold it for forty nine ninety five now plus shipping, and I I sold it as untested and sold as is, no returns. I don't have any way to test this. It doesn't come with any wires or anything. It's just the radio player. The, the CD player. So I just told, sold it as as is, no returns, untested, and someone bought it, forty nine ninety five plus shipping. So five bucks for that. So nice. Not bad. <laughs> so this is a funny sale. Um, my wife bought these uh, off eBay. So here we are selling them back on eBay. So if you if you watched a few videos ago, I sold a whole bunch of of World of Nintendo uh, figures that I got from a yard sale. Made killer money on it. I think I paid six bucks for this big bag of all these little figures and pieces and stuff. And my wife was very impressed that I was able to sell these things. Right? So she was, you know, shopping around on eBay and just happened to see the this a lot. I think it was there was 12 of these. 
and some of them were World of Nintendo, and some of them, were, a couple of them weren't. But she saw these, and there was a, like the starting bid was ten bucks, and the, the the auction was getting ready in. So she's like, "Oh, World of Nintendo stuff for ten bucks? Yeah, let's get that." So she bought these for ten bucks, and to, for me to resell on eBay, and I did resell them for fourteen ninety five plus shipping. So she, you know, she tries, and I, you know, she tries to help, and I appreciate that. And, you know, we still made some money off it, but it's just a funny story because she was, uh, she was expecting us to make, you know, I guess the same money we made on the other ones. I don't know, but just funny. A little, little 12 lot of World of Nintendo, World of Nintendo figures. All right. This is a charger, uh, Sony battery car, car battery charger. Um, brand new, hasn't been used. I got this in a broken, I, I picked up a broken, well, I didn't know at the time, a Sony DVD, portable DVD player for two bucks at a yard sale. Uh, got it home, tested, it was broken. So I took all the, I basically parted it out and just sold all the parts off and made more money than I would have if it worked. Um, and, and this is one of those parts. So I have maybe a quarter into this and we sold it for nine ninety five plus shipping. This was the last piece of that sold. This charger, another charger, like the rechargeable battery in the bottom, the DVD player itself, had a little remote, sold all that stuff. This was the last piece of that. And I think out of that two dollars, I think we ended up with like sixty or seventy dollars worth of sales from a broken uh, DVD player. So not too bad. All right, nothing too exciting here. Just some humidifier uh, filters. Had these for quite a while. Paid a buck each for uh, each one of these. In my mind, I was thinking, oh, I pay a dollar for these. I'll lot them together like this, and I'll sell them for you know good money. And like I said, they sat around for a long time and the price went lower and lower. And we finally sold them for twelve ninety five dollars plus shipping. So we still made money. I got these at St. Vincent the Ball, like I said, for a buck a piece. So I got four bucks in that. All right, this is some more retail arbitrage. I was at um, Office Max buying shipping supplies. I think I was buying a box. And I swung by the clearance section and these eye washes were in there. For some reason, Office Max was selling eye wash. Um, Still, it's still good. I think it hadn't expired yet. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can see it, uh, 2019. This expires, but I bought these for each one of those little boxes was 75 cents. So I have a dollar fifty into this, and I bought ten boxes of this. So I I have five lots of two, and we finally finally sold a lot uh, for 7.95 plus shipping. So not a whole lot of profit, but if again if you're a new seller and you're trying to build feedback, this is you know. Not much can go wrong with this. Make one listing, put that you have five, and whenever they sell, they sell. We finally sold some for seven ninety five, so a dollar fifty into seven ninety five plus shipping. So we're still making money, uh, and we're building feedback, so that's good. All right, another one of those Armani Exchange uh, watch boxes. Again, dollar twenty into these, and we sold. This is the second one we sold this week for sixteen ninety five plus shipping, and we have nine more, so that's good. All right, uh, this is. A X, original Xbox launch edition. I bought this for forty dollars, and we sold it for thirty nine ninety five. And you might be going, uh, Matt, that's not exactly how the eBay game works. You don't buy something for forty dollars and resell it for forty dollars. You're losing money. That is very true. Uh, I bought this because it came with a really, really nice bag. It had a really nice Xbox bag, uh, like a shoulder carrying bag that I really wanted. And they wouldn't sell me just the bag. They said, Oh, you got to buy the whole thing. So I knew that if I bought the system, I don't actually have an Xbox for my collection, but I knew I wanted to resell this one because I know I can find one out there at yard sales much, much cheaper. Actually, my dad just picked uh, an Xbox up last weekend with an Xbox, two con or four controllers, nine games. He got that all for 10 bucks, so he was pretty proud of that. So now he's been playing Xbox for these last couple of weeks. But I know that I can also find one very cheap. But like I said, I wanted this bag. I picked this up at Goodwill. And like I said, I spent 40 bucks and we sold this. I had this listed for a couple of days. This is actually, these pictures are in my basement. Um, I just, put, I just put it in. I have like a little container for my sump pump. And I, I was like, oh, I'll just take pictures of it right here on top of this container. And that's what I did. I took the pictures in the basement and used that corner as like a backdrop. But uh, just messing around. But we, $39.95, so I sold this within a couple of days. So we got our money back for the $40 and I got to keep the bag for my collection. So that's, you know, I'm okay with this. The wife was a little confused, but I was okay with this. All right. This is a brother uh, typewriter. I picked this up for $6 at St. Vincent de Paul. Um, tested it. Worked good. Had like an extra, you know, had ribbon in, in, in there. The thing that, I don't know if I show it, but uh, no, I don't. But the thing that kind of can mess up with these is this is a daisy wheel 
typewriter. So if you're at, at the thrift store at a yard sale or something looking at one of these, what you want to do is you want to remove that, that clear flap. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. And you want to, in this part right here, there's like a little lever that you can move down and pull out this, the thing that actually has the daisy wheel. It actually has the letters on it. So when you press the key, it hits the daisy wheel and, and activates the letter. But you want to check that and make sure that that's in good condition. Because those often break. They're not super expensive. They're not easy to find, but they're not super expensive to find to buy if you can't find them. Um, but those are typically what breaks in these things. And uh, the, thankfully, this one was in good condition. Um, like I said, I spent six bucks on this. I actually have another one. I actually picked up two this day, two of the exact same one. So we listed it for forty nine ninety five, and that's what we got forty nine ninety five plus shipping. And like I said, I have one more of these. All right, nice little sale here. I picked this um, Nintendo DS. Uh, it's a 3DS XL uh, up from, you know, that's not a very good picture of that screen. But I picked this lot up from Goodwill. It was $40. This Goodwill that I go to, it's kind of, I don't really buy a whole lot from Goodwill. You guys obviously hear me say St. Vincent de Paul, St. Vincent de Paul. That's typically where I find a lot of my stuff. And I do go to Goodwills every single day, and I really don't find a whole lot because everything seems to be overpriced especially at this Goodwill I go to, but for some reason, and I've seen a couple of handheld systems, they undervalue handheld systems for some reason. But this was a nice little lot. It came with the uh, the handheld, the charger, the 3DS XL. So it's not, you know, it's a, a, a nice 3DS. Um, and then it came with one, two, three, four, five games there. Actually, six games. The sixth game is inside the system there. But so six games. And then I had this extra, this uh, Nintendo DS, like little uh, carrying case. I had that extra. That was my old one, and I bought a new one. So I threw that in there to make the lot look nice. And this was in good condition. I think the only issue was that it had a little crack right there in the hinge, but the hinge is still snapped closed. It still worked fine. And like I said, it came with six games or something right there they are. Uh, and one of those games was Animal Crossing, which is about a $15 game. So it had, you know, a nice game. And it, oh, and it also had the Super Mario uh, 64 DS in there, which is like a $15 game. So it had some nice games with it. Um, I picked this up for 40 bucks, and we sold it for 114 dollars and 95 cents plus shipping so not a bad sale not a bad sale at all and i like just I, it, I like selling video games so i don't know it's a little bit more exciting than selling typewriters i guess for me anyway all right this is another piece out of that box from the salvation army this is just a wii uh sensor bar got four dollars and 95 cents plus shipping like i said this is like you can consider this free um, because i already paid for the box with the console all right, sold this um, today. This is a Star Wars backpack, like a plush backpack. Picked this up from the Goodwill for uh, $8. It was still brand new. As you can see, the tags are still on there. Um, you know, just an Ewok. I thought it was cool. I don't know. I like Star Wars. And I picked this up for 8 bucks. I paid quite a bit for it, I think. Um, but we sold it for $22.95 plus shipping. And it took about a month to sell, so it took a while. But we finally sold this today. I was pretty excited. I have a couple of backpacks. The things that I have that I, I have a trouble selling, backpacks and ties. For a while, I was like, I bought a couple of ties. Like, oh, I'm going to sell ties, Tommy Hilfiger ties. We're going to make a killing. I didn't do very well. <laughs> I didn't sell any ties, actually. And then I have a couple of backpacks, this being one of them. And uh, the other one was a Mario one that was free. But this is one I paid 8 bucks for, and it finally sold. So I can say that I've actually sold a backpack. We sold it for $22.95 for shipping. All right. Best sale I saved for last. This is uh, precious, a Precious Moments set. Um, if you've watched other videos, you've seen me sell other Precious Moments things. This was the big piece that we had. Uh, picked this up from a yard sale. Went up to the, the best yard sale I've ever been to. Went up to the yard sale. It wasn't particularly a whole bunch of stuff, but everything was like super cheap. You wanted like a buck for like everything. Uh, picked up a really nice camera. Picked up a bunch of Precious Moments stuff. Picked up some other, uh, like a printer and stuff. But we paid... Uh, this was a six-piece set. Let me see if I show a picture of all the boxes. I'm sure I do. This is a six-box uh, nativity set. Actually has, I think, nine pieces inside of it. And it's the whole, uh, you know, as you can see there, it's like the whole you know, Mary, Joseph, uh, the wise men, the sheep, uh, baby Jesus. And sold this for, we picked this up, I paid six bucks, a buck for each one of these boxes. And they were all, all the boxes were in good shape. We sold this for $250 plus shipping. So we made really, really good money. This is one of our better sales, not our best sale, but this is definitely our probably our second best sales in terms of uh, terms of like profit. Uh, but really, really nice sale. This happened over the weekend, 
and this was kind of my wife that my wife found these and did a lot of research on this and you know so this was she was really excited when this uh, sold because you know it's a big piece we sold a lot we've made a killing on this precious moment stuff I think we we bought 20 or 25 we bought 20 pieces for 20 bucks so we paid a buck a piece and we've sold other pieces for twenty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars uh, you know so we've sold a bunch and this was kind of the icing on the cake I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I sold I think I only have one piece left um, so two hundred and fifty dollars and there's actually a few pieces that really didn't have any value so we donated them to the same fence at the Paul so if there's actually you know somebody else who wants to try their hand at precious moments or a precious moments collector is looking for that kind of stuff I mean uh, I paid a buck for those boxes, and I think they were like worth three or four dollars. So I said, I'll just donate them, and you know, maybe somebody else can get them and, and enjoy them. But this one, two hundred and fifty dollars plus shipping, so a really nice sale. Six bucks for that. So that's it for this week, guys. That's it for the what sold on eBay. Um, like I said, I have another video coming out. I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. I've already, um, I've already actually <laughs> uh, recorded the video, and it's my August recap. Um, basically, I'm going to talk to you guys about. What my goals were for August, what we actually did, some of the ups and downs of August, uh, the bumps in the road, uh, what items sold for the most profit, what items sold for the least profit, um, and then I'm going to talk a bit about my goals for set here in the month of September and what I'm expecting to do. I know we're already almost halfway through September and this video is going to be the August recap video, but it is, like I said, it is coming tomorrow. It took me a while to get uh, the finance uh, department at MAT Retail, which is my wife took me a while to get the numbers from her but we did and like i said i'm gonna release that video tomorrow so thank you guys for watching thank you to those who have subscribed and commented and watched i really appreciate it and you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video thanks